What's up Cloud Gamers, welcome to the Cloud Gaming Extreme channel, your destination for all things Cloud Gaming, and welcome to GFN Thursday. This week's blog is heavily focused on multiplayer games, 3 of the 10 games being onboarded this week are as such, and we also have 3 D&D &D releases as well, one of which is the new highly anticipated action MMORPG Swords and Legends Online. All of that to come plus more in today's video, but do us a favour before we get into it, drop us a wee like, hit subscribe and ring those bells so you don't miss out on any more great content. The blog kicks off this week reiterating that playing on GeForce Now means playing the real PC versions of games from Steam, Epic Game Store, Ubisoft Connect and GOG and that low power rigs are no longer a problem. We then get a reminder that we aren't just playing with other GFN members but the millions of PC gamers out there, whether we are on low end PCs, Macs, Chromebooks, Shield TVs, Android or iOS devices. It's a great reminder of how massive the community actually is and how easy it is to pick up and play no matter where and no matter which device. Continuing on this subject, as you see on screen right now, simply searching multiplayer in app brings up over 400 games for you to choose from. A good number of these games are completely free to play, just like CSGO, Fortnite, Destiny 2, World of Tanks and many more as GFN are very close to breaching that 100 free to play barrier. Multiplayer games are very important in the gaming community today and it is great to see Nvidia take the opportunity to highlight this in their weekly blog post. One last thing before we get into this week's games and that's the GeForce Now Rewards Programme. This programme has given members special in-game skins and items, trial offers for services like Discord Nitro and even special access to closed betas like Amplitude Studios' upcoming Humankind, of which I was invited which was fantastic. Even though the game didn't suit my taste, it was great to be a part of it through the rewards scheme. So if you haven't done so already, here's how to get set up. Log into your account, click the GeForce Now tab, scroll down and click the up update rewards settings button and make sure you have checked the box as shown and click update settings. Make sure this is checked off as there are some great rewards coming up that you don't want to miss out on. Let's take a look at the games coming now and obviously my highlight this week is Swords of Legends Online. This is coming same day release to GeForce Now, July 9th and will be available from the Steam and Epic Game Stores for around £35. Swords of Legends Online is an action MMORPG set in the breathtaking fantasy world of Shenzhou, with sophisticated combat mechanics and a unique storyline based on Chinese mythology. Explore the world with 6 different classes, the Spell Sword blends deadly swordplay and powerful magic, the Reaper blurs the boundaries between life and death, the Summoner unleashes ancient spells and summons natural sprites, the Bard uses magic to hit their foes from a distance or provide support and succour to their allies with powerful healing. The Berserker wields massive swords and calls upon a loyal wolf to support them. The Spearmaster has lightning fast attacks and deadly precision. Experience a fast paced and dynamic action combat system, put your wide variety of skills to the test and chain together clever combos against your opponents. Switch easily between powerful and light attacks, all while enjoying the silky smooth animations. The system places a panoply of mystical skills at your disposal for you to continually hone and improve in adrenaline pumping encounters. The game includes an extensive and elaborate housing system, build your home on your very own floating island and set the tone for your residence. Put your heart and soul into decorating it with all the fine trappings or get your green thumbs dirty in the garden. A huge range of furnishings and options lie at your disposal. Cover huge distances in Shenzhou on the back of your mount. You can choose from a huge selection of fantastic beasts, taking to the heavens to pay your friends island a visit, feast your eyes on the breathtaking landscapes as you glide through the heavens or dive onto unsuspecting enemies. Can't wait to get stuck into that come Friday, but now let's take a look at the rest of the games coming this week. First up and already available is Ease 9 Monstrum Nox. 
exactly as any of the six notorious monstrum, each with their own unique gifts that grant abilities such as scaling sheer walls or detecting hidden objects to protect the city from shadowy creatures. Explore the massive city, accept quests to aid the townsfolk and enter the grim walled Nox to vanquish the threats to Baldur. This released on the 6th and is available in the Steam and Epic Game stores for £50. Prepare to set sail through the skies. Black Skylands is the first video game in the sky punk genre that combines elements of open world, sandbox, top down shooter and action adventure. This game will release in early access on July 9th from Steam with no price indicated just yet. Call to Arms, Gates of Hell, Ostfront is aimed to convey the realism that strategy players have always desired. Historically accurate visuals and locations, no health bars, no simplifications, no shortcuts taken. Offering unrivaled immersion to give the most legitimate World War II real-time strategy, real-time tactics to date. You can pick this up in the Steam store right now for £30. Enter a dynamic universe where each world is unique, no two ever the same. In Crowfall, player choices have an immediate impact and can change the world forever. Explore a vast territory, battle a variety of powerful creatures and enemies, lay claim to valuable resources, or conquer enemy strongholds, rule an empire, or ruthlessly lead a band of armed mercenaries into battle. You have the power to manipulate the tide of battle by activating a late stage strategy that reverses the outcome in the final seconds of the fight. Winner takes all in the throne of war. Crowfall comes from its native launcher and the game price begins at £46.99. Action, mystery and a chance for redemption await you in the gritty action first person puzzler Graven. Explore a dark fantasy world as a wrongly convicted man of faith, battle the horrors of humanity, the wilds and beyond using the environment, magic and armaments. Pick this one up in early access from Steam or the Epic Games Store for around £20. Ironcast is set in an exciting alternative history, a time when refined men and women in top hats and bonnets commanded gigantic walking war machines, laying waste to the enemies of the British Empire. Battles are fought by generating resource nodes which in turn drive the Ironcast's various weapons and systems. You must choose how to spend these nodes wisely, either offensively in order to cripple and destroy your opponents, or defensively if they suspect a barrage of incoming weapons fire is due. No release date for this one in the Epic Games Store just yet and no price either unfortunately. Mankind has been eradicated by climate change, nuclear war and pandemics. Will your team of mutants survive the zone? Mutant Year Zero A Road to Eden is a tactical adventure game combining turn-based combat with real-time exploration, story, stealth and strategy. Available from Epic Games for £30. Hordes of crazed, out of control bunnies have invaded, enslaving Rayman and forcing him to participate in gladiator style trials. Help Rayman win his freedom back by entering and outwitting these furry foes, use the most hilarious fighting moves imaginable, run races on animals, fight in the arena, mesmerise the bunnies with your dance moves, throw cows, milk pigs or engage in plunger shooting madness. Pick up the Rayman Raving Rabbids from either Steam or Ubisoft Connect for around £5. The final game this week is Wushu Chronicles, and that's about as much as I can tell you, as the English language is not supported in game or even on the Steam page. I wish I could tell you more, but I know nothing of the Chinese language, unfortunately, folks. Sorry about that. And on that note, seems like a good place to wrap this up. Swords of Legends looks stunning and I really can't wait to get into this one. Let me know what you all think in the comments below, we love to see them. Keep your eyes on all of our social channels for the latest cloud gaming news, tech reviews, comparisons and gameplay. Until next time then, stay safe and keep on gaming.